Jumela Maholo, this is the Rustenberg. Remember that we are connecting Rustenberg. Today, um, we are proudly sipping something local, something home. Solicto. It's a very beautiful brand, smooth gin, that we're going to be drinking throughout the show. Uh, today, we have a show like no other. Uh, we, have, we are having a beautiful sister in studio. She's doing wonderful, wonderful, wonderful things. Like before, I told you guys that Rustenberg has three pillars. Hence, we say we are connecting Rustenberg. Our well, three pillars are entrepreneurship, which we sit and talk to entrepreneurs. The second is the entertainment. That's why you see us having DJs. The other day we had the Greg, DJ Nyati, and the likes. The third one, which is philanthropy, which we talk about people doing good in their own community. Today, we have Ausi Kethi Sibalo who will be telling us Kimang, Otsuakai, Ojoalimang, One Night Stands and all those things. Dumela, how are you doing? I'm good, how are you? Who is Kathy? Well, Kathy Sabalo is, um, I would like to say young lady, but unfortunately I'm not young anymore, is a woman born and bred in Rustenburg, Bestere. I basically grew up in Bestere. Um, yeah, that's basically about Kathy Sabalo. Um, How was it growing up in Beste? Uh, growing up in Beste actually made me the tomboy that I am, the streetwise lady that I am. So yeah, it has been quite an experience. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So let's take it back home. Um, both parents, parents, how many siblings and all that. We're taking it back, 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 back. Okay, okay so both parents are both um from Lesotho but I was born here so mo both my parents are from Lesotho oh so they came to Lesotho settled in Rust in Rust and Beggies so who was so to work with one? 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 okay alright but do you usually visit Lesotho? once in a while yes I do so, how na siblings that side, family that side? Uh, no, my family is all here, my siblings are all the side. Alright, how many siblings? Uh, I'm a firstborn of four, so okay. I have three siblings, a brother and twins. Twins? Yes. A brother and twins, twins, male or female? They, male and female. Male and female, yes. okay. So it's two girls and two boys. Oh, yes. so um, let's take it back to schooling, we started a guy or a guy or a guy. Um, I did my primary at JD Musia. Okay. And then later on I moved to Botswana where I did most of my schooling this side. Okay. Came back home when I was supposed to do grade nine, but when I got here I skipped a grade. Went straight to grade eleven. Okay. So I did both my grade eleven and twelve this side. This side. Yes. Why did you have to go to Botswana? Uh, I can't even tell you that it was friendly issues. Okay. Yes. So how was Botswana? How was I mean I mean you your story is very interesting, quite very interesting. Mm -hmm. Your parents are from Lesotho. Mm -hmm. They settled in Rustenburg. Do do you need to, you had to go to Botswana? Yes. We don't talk about family politics, but mm -hmm. we respect your privacy. But you now how 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 old were you when you left when you left Rustenburg to Botswana? Jeez, I think I was fourteen. Forty yeah. I know no so yeah. So I'm 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 here thinking that you're leaving your parents behind, you're leaving your siblings behind, you're leaving... So you maybe you are go, go and or whoever. Mm -hmm. So the transition from moving here to there, how was it? Uh, whew, it was quite hard for almost a year. Because when I got there, I was supposed to go to boarding school. Oh. So that's where I started. Three months into it, I met a family. So, so in boarding school, I met a girl. Let me take it from there. Ne? who happened to be my friend at that time. So during weekends, the family would come, I would meet the family and stuff, and they liked me. So Jiki Jiki, they were like, no man, um, you guys need to move from boarding school and come stay with us. Mm. So that's basically how they became my family. So oh. from 14 to this age, that's my family. I'm actually closer to them than Your my friends. Mm. So I have a family in Botswana. So most people don't know the story. They actually think we're blood related, but we're not. So that's how I got to have a family in Botswana. Oh, okay. Yes. So now from now you came and did set the 11 and 12, you pass your matric. Uh, did you further your studies? Not really. I'm actually only studying, uh, furthering my studies now as I'm working. I mm. did short courses there and there. 
So coming back here, did you complete your matric? I did, yes. After matric, what happened? After matric, I, there was a gap year, and then later on, my parents couldn't afford university, but I did your know, small courses, IT, and, 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 and. Mm-hmm. And then later on, I started working at the mines. Working at the mines? Yes. Are you currently working at the mines? Yes, I am. Okay. When did you start working at the mines? 2008. 2008, okay. Mm-hmm. How is it? What are you doing at the mines? Did you want to share? Well, currently, I'm into violence. Oh, you're doing with violence? Hey, we need money. <laughs> so, 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 so now, um, you at the mine, you're still staying with the parents? Yeah, when I started, I was still staying with the parents in 2008, 2009, and in 2010, you know how we get when you start working, you think you know. have figured it all out, and then I moved out. Well, any kid? At that time. Now? No, yes, I have a five-year-old. Okay, girl boy. It's a girl, beautiful girl. Beautiful girl. How is it raising a daughter? Shoof! Like, I would say she's my little girl, but no, she's not. Yeah. We are, it's we clashing, but yeah, it's, it's quite interesting. Quite interesting. It's kind of hard now because my mom used to help me with her and everything, so I lost my mom a couple of months ago. Alright, we're gonna come back to Royal Flex. Yeah, let's not go deeper into that because I'm seeing somebody's getting the tissue and whatnot. So, uh, what is Royal Flex? Royal Flex. Well, a Royal Flex is a pet line. It was inspired by a young girl called Didi Malo. So, there is an NPO called Rooted. That was Rooted before Royal Flex. Okay. Yes. So, uh, uh, Rooted also started in a very. There's an interesting story there, but yes. Can we do this? Mm-hmm. Can we do this? Because there was rooted before Royal Flex. Uh, Royal Flex. Yes. Mm-hmm. You said rooted. It's a it's a non profit organization. It is yes. When was it started, and what what, what are the pillars of rooted? Uh, rooted started in twenty seventeen July. Okay. So at this point, my daughter was five months. So this is when I realized that I'm a single mom. And then I decided, you know what, instead of investing all this energy, asking myself questions where it went wrong with the baby dad and everything, let me rather start something that will will benefit somebody out there. So that's how we ter- uh, started. It was 11 ladies then when we started. Spoke to a few friends of mine, guys, listen, this is what I want to do, and then they were game. But um, as time went, everybody just pulled out, and at the end of the day, it was just two of us. Okay. Yes. So you started when the registration process was really like that. Three. Three. Okay. So let's let's talk about the inspiration. You spoke. You mentioned that five months later, after having a kid, mm-hmm. you are you are now a single lady that motivated you to start this. Mm-hmm. What's the motivation around starting this? Is it because you want to motivate ladies when the baby ladies are gone or? Uh, basically, I wouldn't say they related. I wouldn't say wanting to start rooted was because of me being a single mom. Nah. But the way I was at that point. How how were you that point? You know you well, you wouldn't know obviously. I <laughs> so I'll, I mean a million of boys out there that won't know that. So I want I'm 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 a spokesperson for guys to understand that or for women, other women you understand. Mm-hmm. So I am they're gonna be coaching me a chief. You left that issue. You know, so you it's a it's a very it's an emotional roller coaster. Roll. I mean, I mean, this is this is this is, this is thing. Mm-hmm. You're taking it back. I didn't want to go there, but mm-hmm. now I'm I'm going there. So he has this beautiful daughter, um, who you know you know daughters are beautiful. Daughters are beautiful. Um, and this guy decided just you know, and five months into it. I mean, you know, you know. I think as a father, you bond with that kid when 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 she's born. Okay, let's let's do this. He left when I was five months pregnant, but we were talking in the process. There was hope. You know, as ladies, we always think, you know, it'll get better. He will come back. It's just things holding him and everything. But five months into the child being around, I I realized it's not gonna happen. Because it seems that uh, I mean, in that I mean, it's five months. Mm-hmm into the pregnancy he left five months after the pregnancy mm-hmm. which is 10 months 10 months 
So in the 10 months, obviously you are left with four, mm -hmm. right, for you to pop, right? Mm -hmm. And then there's another, how many, six after that. In that, did he ever maybe see the child, bond with the child? The funny part is the five, five, the five first, first five months, they were good. We were okay. Yes, we had our ups and downs, but I didn't see it coming. I before did, we, we, before yes, giving birth? Yes, I did not see it coming. So after giving birth, G maybe comes in no. the child? No. The first time he met his child was when she was two months when he demanded DNA test. A little bit deeper. <laughs> okay, so this man decided no, no, get away. Get away. You're, obviously, your mom was still around. Yes. You're still close with mom, please, your mom. Mm. Or your siblings, your family, your friends, you know. Mm. So, two months later, this guy comes and demands it. Two years later. Two years later, sorry. How did you react? How did your family react? How did your friends react to that? Did was, you even do that? It was a shocker. I didn't tell my parents. Okay. So, my thinking was if this means you're going to take care of your child, then I'll do it. Because at that point, I felt I had nothing to hide. Mm. If it's time for you to step up and take care of your child, fine, let's do it. Mm -hmm. I went, and then three weeks later, the results came out. That's when I told my mom. Okay. Yes. Um, the results of the, the, the test? Oh, yes. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 and then you've got this result. Weren't you angry? You, you, you know, I you got angry times. when the results came out. I, I can imagine. I mean, this person, you know the truth, but it's it's kind of like, I am man. Then, like, you know, that the emotions will come. I can imagine. I'm just more when this is on a paper now. Yeah. But this guy, he left, he came. And what did he say when you gave him the thing, or when you told him, or when you took a photo and sent it to him, or how did you do it? Um. I remember when I went for the test, I didn't remember where I filled in my numbers. So after I left, I asked myself, how am I going to know when the results came out? Mm. So I called the lab. I googled the name of the lab. I called them and I told them, um, how do you guys usually do it when the results come out? Mm. They say, no, the person who ordered the test usually gets the notification like no but that's not fair so they took my numbers and indeed i guess i don't know the day they came out they called me they said they couldn't care, uh, get a hold of him mm. they said the results are out please come so i sent him a text and tell him listen they said the results are out let's go meet there mm. he's like no it's fine i'll go there myself then i'll send you but no that's not how it works mm. and then when i got there and in the six years of relationship he was never ready for anything, but that day I found him there. Mm. And then he already had the copy open up, bring me yeah. But then three hours later that day, he called me. I couldn't take his call. He sent an SMS that he's not happy with the results. I could have tempered with the fuck. Yeah. And how did you feel? <sighs> now at that time I told him no. I'd... No, I'd be back. Actually, actually, this thing about that lot. Yeah, you did. Who paid for them? Him. He did, yeah. Oh, he did. he did. And you tempered. Mm -hmm. So he wanted you guys to do the other. Yes. Did you agree? I didn't. Okay. And then two months later, I got a summon from his lawyer. And? That was, a, it was, okay, my dad was involved. He was communicating with the lawyer until he agreed that I do the tests. Still saying, there's nothing you're hiding. You went again? We never did it. Because he wanted me to go to Auckland Park. Because I'm well known in Boston. Are you well known? That I'm know. not exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah. So you then. didn't do the results no. after after so, okay, it's one results. Yeah. The child is your chief. Mm -hmm. After all this thing, after all this involving parents, the lawyers, and everything to do for him. No, because we never spoke. Until this year, January, when I decided to go to maintenance club. After that, to sell our phone and a blue outside. He came, fortunately. I didn't expect to the court. To come. Yes, he did come. Okay. And then we had a lengthy talk. 
fine. With the magistrate or yes. the magistrate. They actually asked us to go outside and try and to be civil about the whole thing. Then we did, went back, and then he agreed to whatever he agreed to. And then he said hope he will build some sort of relationship, to get to know what the child likes, current visits and everything. That was in January, we in September now. Still nothing. The only thing he does is send the money, that's it. Okay. For the first time in my life in this podcast, I'm, I'm speechless. <laughs> and we're not, we're not supposed to go there. Yeah. <laughs> but we did. That's why yeah, that's did. what I tell people here that um, it's not because of the children. Mm-mm, that's uh, what we do is we just have a conversation and you just... So people think <laughs> because I didn't I, I just asked about the child. Anyway, how's the how's the little kid doing? Let's talk about the good things. No, she's perfect. She's perfect. She's doing she's well. Good. She's she's doing well. Kids, kids love their dad. And I've got um I've got a twelve year old and I've got a Pumpuna like 11, 11 months. Mm-hmm. And when I come home, she wakes up. Three o'clock, one o'clock, mm-hmm. five o'clock. Because kids love their dad. Mm-hmm. They do. So hasn't she at some point passed? No, she hasn't. I remember one time, it's not so long ago, we got into a boat and then this guy asked her, um, so you're going to spend money and daddy's money? She was like, no, please, I don't have a dad, I have a granddad. It was a shocker because now it's as if I taught her to but say you got that. Excited, like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, women and pettiness, get that. <laughs> <laughs> no, most of us we, 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 I mean I was raised by my by my granddad. I, I love that man to do that. I don't know my dad. So mm. Don't give a fuck. It's fine. He'll grow up and ugh, I wish I wish he grows up a good girl and he doesn't need that man mm-hmm. again and he gets to be stronger. Because I most most of us but the thing is I want I, I wish the generation of us cannot be like our parents. But unfortunately much that is still doing that. No, I still understand. Doing that. I, I I wish I mean Myself, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'm fucking old. I got married without my who my dad is. That day, um, somebody said, maybe you need to go find your father. I'm like, chief, at my age, give us a good man. I met my dad once and he disappointed me. Mm-hmm. I stood for another day when I joined interview. Mm-hmm. I was supposed to go, I was supposed to write a test. I was writing an international test. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, in... In Rustenberg, I was in Joba. I didn't have accommodation. I got to find this number. Somebody, chief, this guy will. I'll give you. I'll accommodate you. Mm-hmm. I came. I wrote my international test. I think I was doing A plus, if not N plus. I passed that. I aced the test. Go back to the test and wake for the guy that didn't rock up until today. So what makes me want that guy? I mean, I nearly slept. Go take the rain. So you grow. She'll, you know, kids who, who 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 are raised like that, they become strong mm-hmm. and they become resilient and all that. So enough about the shit. Let's talk about the, the campaign. Yes. Rooted. No, 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 <laughs> I was actually gonna get a bottle. I've changed my mind. Ah, no, it's fine. <laughs> it's worth like for my hand. You know? <laughs> yes, let's talk about rooted. So, it's three ladies left. Mm-hmm. But is it registered for social development? Yes, it is. No, 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 not social development, but uh, CIPC. Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Cipro. Mm-hmm. It's NPC that can you can register. Both now. Both now. Mm-hmm. Okay. We actually don't call them that anymore. Yes, it. Mm-hmm. So 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 this this campaign that so what is I asked you about the pillars that are rooted. Mm-hmm. What are you guys focusing on? Because when you when you do those forms it's objectives and what what and what what. Yes. So what are you guys dealing with? Um we're dealing with the underprivileged the less privileged more than we are because i always tell people i find i i think i'm rich because there's somebody out there who's gonna sleep with an empty stomach what do you do to i'm underprivileged i don't know i know you're I not you're sleep. drinking so <laughs> no you're not <laughs> you're not I also really have to one. Everybody will struggle, but struggle yeah but well. you know what i'm talking about so what do you do to underprivileged you build them houses you what you do? Uh, no, we don't actually. Um, so we used to give ourselves 
a three month period where we would save money from our own pockets for three months. We would agree on a certain amount. Here's how much you're going to save and then after three months we identify either a family, a school, and then we help with whatever that they need. Okay. Yes. Alright. Have any any funders, any help from government? There's a government official in this. Anything social development in helping you? No. Have you tried that? No. Or you haven't tried? No, we haven't. Because you just said you're rich. Oh, wow. So let's talk about Royal Flex. Now he's using it against me. <laughs> Royal Flex? <laughs> so um, we had um, an outreach in Gostor okay. in 2019. All right. So I had an interaction with one school girl mm-hmm. by the name, okay, let me not mention her name. Mm. So she told me there are times where she can't go to school mm. because she, the, the parents can't afford sanitary towels. Mm. I think that that didn't sit well with me for a very long time. Mm. I had this little book where I would draw, I can't even draw to save my life, but I would mm. draw and try and come up with ideas of how I can help other other kids like her out there. So mm-hmm. that's how Royal Flex came about. Mm-hmm. Did my research how I can have a pet line that would be mainly for such um, outreaches. So this was designed specifically for you. Yes. What else, let's talk about the pro because it's it's not most people who can. Not but I cannot mention their brands because they are a Yes. Not so many people can think of doing the brand. I want you to go through the process. Who the process, ne? Hmm. Had to go deep into my pocket. Lost money, but I don't regret. In anything. So I did my research, I found one lady in Limbopo. Okay. Yes, who does all these things. Mm. But then also she was outs- uh, outsourcing the, the incubating of the pets as well. Okay. So she did the whole branding, the boxes and everything. And then she spoke to one white lady who helped her with the pets as well. So it was a very, very draining process. But at the end of the day, we did it. So they started from the scratch? From scratch, yes. Have you been to the plant or you just... No, I haven't. Because the, the idea is to have my own incubator. Mm. Eventually, we'll, we'll how much roughly does it cost to even incubate? Oof, I don't know. I yeah. don't know. I don't know because I know the ones I know outside. I don't. I know myself, so I don't even want to know as yet. Mm. So how much do you buy this? Uh, myself. Mm. Getting it. Getting it done. Oof. Okay. Yeah, I'll have to. Okay. So. This, mm-hmm. you buy them from 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 Limbop or wherever. Mm-hmm. They ship them the size. The size yes. And what happens? What's happen after you get them? Then what? Um, usually when they come, we just don't get them for no reason. If we have an outreach, then I would tell her, listen, we need fifty boxes, because it's fifty in a box. So we'd have one box with fifty units. Yes. How many are they inside? Nine. Okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. so she would ship them through, but then again, you don't, they're not always there. Remember, they have to the branding of the boxes and everything. While well, the artwork is still really just printing of the boxes, she'll have to package them and then send them through. So, I'm here. I want to, I've got maybe a deep pocket, Nyana. Mm-hmm. I want to buy. Uh, I was did a charity, I was collecting just random pets. Pets, yeah. Up, so some school in Maristan, I think we had about a thousand pets that we collected. Mm-hmm. Should maybe one need to to buy the, the 50, how much could, roughly how much can I spend to buy the 50? Well, it's 20, 20 rent for that box. 20 rent for a box, mm-hmm. also is okay. Yeah, but obviously when you, when it's, the more they are, the, 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 the cheaper they are, I think. So if it's 15 a box, we make some sort of a discount. Oh, anyways. so what help do you need from somebody out there who love helping? Funds, 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 to do funds, 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 to make this dream as possible as... How many kids do you want to 
A thousand in a year. How many are you currently helping us? Um, that's the thing. We do not have a target. You, we have okay. At the moment, we have this um school in Mabiskra. What's the name of the school? Makushon. There's no way that you can help my without me knowing. Wow! <laughs> you researched that. They didn't tell you about this one. No, there's Makoshong as well, Agar. There's Mabiskra and there's the Makoshong. It's a small whatever in Mabiskra. Ends up asking which school in Mabiskra. Makoshong. Yeah, like, so, what, what so monthly you bring, you, you take them there? Or yes, we, there's this new group that we are part of, it's Soul Buddies. So they have 25 girls, eh? So okay. 25 years, they have 25 girls. So we make sure that every three months they have a supply of pets. Okay. Yeah. So where to from now? Who's the hotel? Are we going places? Are we going places? We're going places. We're about to turn Rustenburg northwest, actually. Uh-huh. Yes. Because we're not focusing on only one school. Not only school, but... I believe there's also women who can even yes. afford pets as well, not only so I wanted to ask about any other project that you might be doing besides this thing through today. Okay, so we have um, annual Women's Month celebration, okay. which we held on the 27th. This is last week. Mm-hmm. So that's also a thing that we do. What is happening there? It's basically uh, celebrating women. We have different speakers, motivation speakers, and it's all about women and networking and yeah. All right. So anyone would love to get hold of you. Uh, we've got so many people there watching. So many people who can put their money there. there That's the... so why we have a Facebook page. Yes. So rooted DCSSA. Rooted DCSA. DCSSA. So it's rooted DCSSA. Okay. And then you can get hold of us on 081-745-9525. Can you say them again? 081-745-9525. Any offices or are you just operating from home? No, we're just operating from home. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you heard it, we... This is our flex. She's doing rooted. That's a good thing that they're doing. So, wherever you are, whoever's watching, please go on Facebook, like them, send them a WhatsApp, they'll respond. But let's come and share together. This is it for today. You guys are doing a very wonderful stuff. Thank you sister. very much. And I'm not alone, by the way. Can I do my wingman over there? So, mm, yeah. Wingman, can you come here, wingman? <laughs> Okay, no, it's fine. Women is tired. We understand. <laughs> it's not you, it's the gene. It's the gene. Ladies and gentlemen, remember it's Rustenberger. We are connecting Rustenberger. We're out. Mm.